Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation of the National Football League on EA Sports. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, it's that time of the year. A little bit more urgency. The calendar page turns to November. We kind of know who the good teams are. The midpoint of the NFL season, always a great time to take a step back and look ahead to what's down the road. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. He fields it at the eight. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. So that Detroit offense taking the field for the first time. They're led by former number one overall pick and Super Bowl champion with the Rams, Matthew Stafford. A lot of things jump off the tape when you watch last week, Mike, but it was really just the overall execution of the game plan that stuck out the most. I mean, not only to get them in the end zone a handful of times, he protected the ball, and he routinely exploited the weaknesses that they found during the week on film. He's going to be looking to do the same thing over these next four quarters. If he's successful, they're going to have a shot to leave here with him. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. Not the sharpest of starts on offense here in early third and long. Tight end motioning left. Third and long. Here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Green Bay offense set to go to work for the first time. They are led by their quarterback, the future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers. You know, some weeks, Mike, it just seems like you just can't do anything wrong. Every play, every throw, it just seems like everything goes your way. And that was certainly the case last week, throwing for over 300 yards, three touchdowns. Hey, what his receivers they're coming into every game saying we're going to get a lot of opportunities and their quarterback can continue to play at that high of a level there's a lot of production to go around from the gun Rodgers to the tight end and he fits it in on the corner route it's a pickup of 12 first down Packers He'll turn and hand this one off. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. Now Rodgers. He'll try to hit him with a screen. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Complete to the veteran, Nelson Aguilar. A peek at his receiving numbers from a week ago. Part of the offensive performance that led them to victory. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's caught over the middle by Thomas. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver. And down he goes. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, 
that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Third and long. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. And this ball incomplete on third down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Mike, I'll tell you, off his foot, I thought he had it the entire way. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and the ball kind of kicks in off the upright, but other times you don't. And in this case, the upright sent it right back. Off play action, it's Stafford. That's to the sideline, taken in by Johnson. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. You got to generate space with the scheme and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. And he'll be very close to a first down, won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. They'll try to get the running game going, his first carry, and he is gonna have a Lions first down. They're able to convert on third and short, picking up four. Throwing, Stafford. Got a man, left side, it's caught. And he's in! Touchdown, Detroit! It's his third touchdown on the year. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. The PAT, up and good. And the Lions will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Rodgers. Throwing over the middle. This one is complete. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Williams, the tight end, is in motion. Here's a first carry for their running back. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. Rodgers. The throw on the run is complete. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big gainer for Green Bay. It's a gain of 34. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw, it's Rodgers. That caught by Davis. He'll get about six before he's taken down. In a lot of offenses, Mike, these quick passes to the wide receivers really fall under the run category. Of course, they're going to go down as a forward pass, but to a lot of offensive coordinators in the league, it's a lot easier. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Packers. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is 
In the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often, these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike, and he's able to connect here for a big touchdown. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Now return coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to see what they can do. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Stafford. And he'll let it go deep for Johnson. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. Up the sideline, past midfield. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Right back to him on first down. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. put a receiver in motion right now a second down throw for Stafford throwing downfield right side and it's caught and he will score touchdown Lions that's his second touchdown of the game he's doubled his season output he now has four what an opening quarter he is having Greg that is two touchdown receptions here in the first quarter Mike, all this guy has to do is keep this pace up, and he's going to have himself eight touchdowns. But in all seriousness, <laughs> if I'm this quarterback, I'm not looking anywhere else until this defense proves they have an answer, because right now, they don't have one. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. Whoa! And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They'll do so with first and ten. Throwing Rodgers. That's into traffic, but taken in. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Up the middle they go. And he's going to take this past the 45. And that's good enough for a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. It's the Lions who have the early lead. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. to the ground he'll get it again and the tackle is going to be made down at the 40 yard line the goal of every offense mike is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass with some success here early on the ground will open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game got a man downfield it's thomas and he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. 
A gain there of 27 yards. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. Got his receiver on the in cut. He's got it. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Rodgers to throw. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but then once the ball... To the goal line and in! Touchdown, Green Bay! Crosby now to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Packers will tie things up. We are all even at 14. We are all square. 14 apiece the score as this one's away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten. They send one of the tight ends in motion to the left. Play action, Stafford. No chance at all. He'll go down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. Blown back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. From the gun on third down, Stafford. That's caught! And he will take this one in. 81 yards. Touchdown, Detroit. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. No problem there on the extra point. And the Lions have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21-14 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the Packers offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more he's building a case for the MVP he is the leader in the NFL in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season on first and ten, here's Rodgers. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. To throw is Rodgers. Quick throw here is complete. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. From the gun, Rodgers. This one hauled in by Thomas. 
And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. To the ground, a first down run. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. A first down throw from Rodgers. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. He'll check this down to the running back. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. On third and one, here's Rodgers. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. So second down, and they'll run it. And that'll give them the first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. They'll stay on the ground. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Off the play fake, Rodgers. He'll tuck it and take off. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Checking it down, this one is caught. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. Hitting the tough yards, they'll go with their fullback. And this is not going to be enough. He is short of the marker. And they have turned it over on downs. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. Here's the Detroit offense now, headed back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The size, the speed, and the strength of this defensive tackle was on full display, Mike. He defeats the block, strikes the ball carrier at the line of scrimmage. He's able to bring him down, keep it to no game. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. It is third and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. Complete. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately with his passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Ah, uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Packers offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. 
and he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Laying out, and he made the catch! What a play! His fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half, and just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. He'll get that into the hands of Cobb. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. They send the tight end in motion. They'll look to set up the screen here. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. So, two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. Back with more from Lambeau Field after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Rodgers going up top again. Off-balance throw. It's complete. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. To the air once more. It's Rodgers. Short pass taken in by the tight end. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. Here's Mason Crosby now out for the field goal. This will be just inside 60, a 59-yard field goal attempt. And that is no good. He missed it. And they are not able to draw closer. You know, the hardest part about these missed kicks, Mike, is for all the guys that work so hard to put the ball in position to come away with points. You kind of trot off the field. You're hoping that next possession has a different result. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Receiver in motion. Going right. Stafford now on second down. A quick slant into the hands of Johnson. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Now Detroit's going to use their second timeout as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Working out of the gun, Stafford. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. A big half continues, already two touchdowns on the score sheet. And here, this grab gets him a first down. They'll throw once more, here's Stafford. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion these typically as the game goes and he'll take it on in touchdown detroit just a really nice job mike especially just staying poised pressure situation you know how important it is to steal some points before the half but everybody's in control everybody understood the situation and the clock and they're able to finish that half in style with that late touchdown Point after try, forthcoming. Stop. 
He's got it. And the Lions have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28-14 game. Halftime, coming close. And not much time left as this one is kicked away. From a yard deep, he's going to bring it out. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. So we reach halftime, and the visiting Lions are in the lead. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Why don't we get right back to it as we'll get ready for the third quarter. This one taken at the seven. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Packers offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. As we move deeper in the season, he continues to put up the big numbers week after week. And you see it manifest there, the NFL's leader in receptions to this point of the year. The third quarter begins with a run. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. From the shotgun, it's A-Rock. He'll go right and find his running back. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down. They can just feel him. It allows them to keep their eyes downfield, allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open. In this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. On play action, Rodgers. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now give on the ground, trying to bounce that outside. It went a long way for a gain of nothing. They'll try again here, second and 10. They're going to motion the tight end over here. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Throwing Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there. Making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. On comes the Packers punting team. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Lions offense and Matthew Stafford heading back onto the field. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. On first and 10, Stafford. Quick throw, taken in. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Putting the tight end in motion. Second down, it's Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Trying to pick this one up on the ground. 
And he'll have the first down. They'll get him up around the 37. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Tight end going in motion here. They'll fake the handoff now. Stafford. That's made right side. It's Johnson. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Set to go now on first and 10. They'll send the tight end in motion right. Stafford now to throw on first down. Quick throw here is complete. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. From the gun, here's Stafford. His throw left side, taken in by Johnson. Here's third and two. They send a receiver in motion left. Third and two, Stafford. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. The Lions going to turn things over to the field goal unit. No issues there. This one is good. And the Lions will extend their third quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Room to run at the 40. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. Out of the gun, here's a run up the gut. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. From the gun, Rodgers. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's a third down and four. Rodgers to throw. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. Now they're entering the area of the field, especially with the amount of yards they've gained on this possession, Mike, where it feels like a touchdown is critical. For the defense, settling for a field goal here, especially with the ball where it is, feels like a win. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. And he'll be taken down. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. To throw is Rodgers. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across. It is brought in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Packers. 
Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed. You understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field, and in this case, pays off for a touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Lions offense and their running back set to go once more. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. His drive will start on the ground. And this will be a Lions first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Throw on third down, Stafford. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Rogers. He's got the veteran Cobb. And he's going to be brought down here on uh, what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Rodgers now. He'll get that into the hands of Cobb. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. In motion comes Thomas. He'll run. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. They don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll run here. And he will have a Packers first down. He has it by plenty. As they keep the drive alive here on third and inches. Keep it on the ground. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Looking to throw. It's Rodgers. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Third and a yard. Rodgers, open man, right side, he's got it. And it looks like he's going to have a first down. Nothing fancy there, short completion, but it yields a fresh set of downs. First 
From the shotgun, it's a give up the middle. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll come up now for second down and four. They send the tight end in motion. They'll look to set up the screen here. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Nelson Aguilar. Touchdown, Green Bay. For Aaron Rodgers, a milestone moment. His 500th National Football League touchdown pass. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets Now remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. This taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Lions offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. the shotgun it's Stafford they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete throughout this entire game we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers Mike but really complete a high percentage of his passes so can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far his eighth reception of the game and good for a first down a lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. His fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. They bring a tight end in motion left. Play action now for Stafford. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the set. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense, immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. This crowd into it now, as we get to third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. He'll check this down to the running back. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at them has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. There's that man again. Another catch. 
Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. A gain there of 11. Good for a Green Bay first down. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw, it's Rodgers. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught, and that's going to be a first down, a pickup of nine. Quick hitting slant there, and they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to tuck it and go. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. Throwing, Rodgers. Quick throw here is complete. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. It is second down and five. They'll drop to throw. He pulls it in around the five. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Now, a big third down. Here's Rodgers. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Aaron Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Initially looking to throw it for the touchdown, couldn't find anything, so Greggy takes care of business himself, using his legs for the touchdown. Well, it was clear early on, Mike, that this defense was expecting the pass. And after matching all the receivers in the end zone, this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line. A return now from the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over once more. Trail by four, touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. Working out of the gun, Stafford. He'll throw it left and has his running back. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Stafford now on second down. Throwing right. It's taken in. Still going inside the 20. And he will go all the way. Touchdown, Lions. And that is touchdown number one in the National Football League career of a guy, Greg, taken high in the draft, hoping for moments like that.
When you get drafted in the first round, Mike, let alone as a wide receiver, the expectation in the NFL today is that you need to come in and be an immediate impact player. Plays like this continue to build that relationship with the quarterback, and I think this guy's got a real bright future. An important extra point up and good, so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. He fields it at the eight. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll try again here. It's second and ten. From the gun, Rodgers. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Now Rodgers. Checking it down, this one is caught. And he's out of bounds with the first down. So they get a new set of downs, and just as importantly, stop the clock. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Now, first and goal. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ball game. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitor's offense, and they're running back, getting ready to go back to work. Here's first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A shotgun snap to Stafford. He's going to air this one out. That is hard. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. Stafford now to throw. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And the defense has it. And there is the backbreaker, Mike. The one thing you can't have late in the ball game is a turnover. You already are up against the wall. You know you need a late score here to come back from behind. And let's give credit to this defense. They know they were a stop away from victory. And after forcing that late turnover, it looks like they're going to seal this one. The Packers offense ready to get back at it. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. 
Here's the third and final timeout for the Lions. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So, it's a win for the Packers. That is now six consecutive victories. They are making it look easy out there as they continue their winning ways. So, that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners, as we say so long from legendary Lambeau Field.